So misfits leaving home. Um, my latest misfit leaving home is a French teenager, the Marquis de Lafayette. And um, this book tells the story of him leaving home and his pregnant teenage wife to come to America to throw in with George Washington's Continental Army. And so I'll, I'll read for a bit and then I'll take questions. And I wanted to read the section of when he come, his, of his voyage to America and his early time. And then I'll read a little tangent about a heroic bookseller to pander to the subject of the proceedings. <laughs> so it's 1777, Lafayette has absconded to America. He's bought his own ship to come here. Um, the King of France is trying to keep him at home. His wife's family is trying to keep him at home because as I mentioned, she is pregnant. And once he makes it onto this ship he has purchased across the Atlantic, he starts sending his wife he starts writing um, his wife, Adrienne, these letters to try to explain why he has abandoned her um, and their uh, forthcoming child. I believe I say in the book that while history might be full of great fathers, recorded history is not where to find them. At sea, Lafayette unveiled the grandeur of his mission to his wife, Adrian, and attempted to include her in it. He wrote, I hope that as a favor to me, you will become a good American. She is a teenage French aristocrat from one of the most illustrious families in France. She lives in a mansion in Paris when she isn't living at their mansion in Versailles. So asking her to become a good American is sort of baffling. Also, he really wasn't in a position to ask her, her any favors. Um, <laughs> nevertheless, he proclaimed to his wife, the welfare of America is intimately bound up with the happiness of humanity. She is going to become the deserving and sure refuge of virtue, of honesty, of tolerance, of equality, and of a tranquil liberty. Now to establish such a forthright dreamland of decency, who wouldn't sign up to shoot at a few thousand Englishmen just as long as Mr. Bean wasn't one of them? <laughs> Alas, from my end of history, from our end of history, there's a big file cabinet blocking the view of the sweet-natured Republic Lafayette foretold, and it is where the government keeps the folders full of Indian treaties, the Chinese Exclusion Act, and NSA-monitored electronic messages pertinent to national security, which is apparently all of them, including the one in which I asked my mom for advice on how to get a red Sharpie stain out of couch upholstery. <laughs> Lafayette confided in his wife, in coming as a friend to offer my services to this intriguing republic, I bring to it only my frankness and my goodwill, no ambition, no self-interest in working for my glory. I work for their happiness. <laughs> 